Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way! What? Monica? This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to recite it in front of strangers? Strangers. Strangers. <laughs> strangers. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Ha <laughs> ha, of course. Of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to find the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <laughs> <laughs> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. <laughs> She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has this intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't have to fucking actually read the poem. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. Ah, oh, thank you very much. I was hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Uh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. It's Yuri, bitch. <laughs> this poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each one of us. You can do it, Sai- or you can do it, Yuri! Uh, uh, not me! <laughs> it's called... After Image of a Crimson, of a crimson Eye. Oh my god! Fucking just <laughs> kill me right now! <laughs> Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple, couple of lies, <laughs> it's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed in her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's bewildered even herself. Hi. It's up to me to save this situation for some reason. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Oh. Yuri, that was really good. Good. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Yuri is down. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sayori stops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori It's a lot harder than I thought How did you guys do it so easily? 
Ah. Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or you're in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll, it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. It all. Sayuri begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, it probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come out from Sayori's voice makes it gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew, through and through. Sayori finishes, and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori! <laughs> Even Yapity liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? He <laughs> wrote nicely as Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a bit more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's... well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just a... Cut to her <laughs> screeching in front of her fucking full-length mirror. <laughs> it's just a little embarrassing to do in front of everyone. Darkness! Fucking enveloping me! <laughs> <laughs> The next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> don't make me go before Yelpity. It's not like I can compare to you guys Come anyway. Come on now, Natsuki. Don't be like that. Might as might as well let Yelpity lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> what the fuck ever Might as well I'm done. I don't with. even care that she hates me. <laughs> I sit down with my SpaghettiOs. <laughs> the tomato sauce is interstitial between all the lettuce. I think about eating it before it gets soggy. Then my eyes start to close. I wake up, they're soggy. Damn it. <laughs> did I do good, Pops? Yeah, you did who, great. You did you? great. Only problem I have, you said it's in a stitch between the letters, but it's spaghetti O's. Is it just O's? <laughs> Are you sure that it's... Is it supposed to be like alphabets? I don't understand. <laughs> what? What's your dad doing here? <laughs> Sorry, he just pops in these things. He's my ride. <laughs> It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone Don't has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. I can tell it's out of pity, but I'm not one to pick and choose. I will fucking take fucking, that. I'm not choosy. I'll take that straight to the bank. Sorry, I'm not as good as everyone else. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less to do with your abilities and more with the stuff you've written. It'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem's called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because... Uh. Because you're presenting... <laughs> 
Anyway, this poem's called Jump. Come on and jump! I stand at the edge of the parking garage, looking down the four-story uh-huh. jump. <laughs> Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a what rhyme to it. What in the fuck it. is she doing up there? <laughs> rhythm and rhyme? It's not Come on! It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki f- finishes and everyone applies. Oh, fuck you. Look to you. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that ever again. Uh, well, we do have the festival. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, not doing it in front of other people. I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put whatever on my face I want. What? I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is. I mean, well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everybody for coming through. It might be hard. Hard. I, it might be hard. Hard. <clears throat> what is <laughs> but I hope that you'll all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival. Yes, event. ma'am. I'll be picking pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already present, pleasantly surprised that you're putting on all the putting in all this effort for the club. Club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah. Well, no problem, Miss. <laughs> Monica. What? What was Monica, that? Monica, get your fucking hair out of my face! <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing oh, Monica. Yeah. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go? No, ready to go, Sayori. Re- yep, yep. Ready, ready to go, Yalbity. <coughs> yep, me. Look at, look at you two. Always going home together like that. I mean, I'm not jealous. I'm not. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. <laughs> it must be a little nice, though. Well, I guess it is. It's nice to have someone to hold my hand to help me across crosswalks. I get scared of crosswalks. Cars going goddamn way too fast. Don't know how fast they're coming. Jump perception hard. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Yappity. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Uh, Sayori? Hmm? Sorry, I was spacing out. 
Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... me. Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Natsuki asks to walk home with you. Huh? What, what would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, all right. Uh, let's just say fucking right away. Uh-huh, there's our... Uh... Well, Natsuki's not here, so we can <laughs> lie and say we'd walk home with Sayori. <laughs> Alright, uh, nobody's feelings are gonna get hurt, so... Sayori. You really think I would ditch you for Natsuki? Eh? But, but... She's so cute and fun to be around. Yeah, she is. I love her. Jeez, I mean, come on, it's not like I like her or anything. <laughs> <sighs> Jeez. I see her in the club every day. Besides, you seem to really like going home together. I couldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Abity. You think about me too much sometimes. Natsuki would deserve it if she wanted to. I... Natsuki would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sayori. I've... This is a way yeah, stronger is, of a sentiment like, than I... W look, we live, like, right beside each other. He's just, like, grab, taking her hands and looking her in the eyes, and he's like, Sayori, I've already made up my mind. <laughs> I can't really figure you out sometimes. But so, gosh dang, you drive I'm me so crazy. Sorry. You're the girl of my dreams, and I will never settle for anyone else. You're the one for me, and I will walk you home, even in the snow, yeah, or yeah, if it yeah, starts no, raining get, yeah, yeah, acid, yeah, I'll uh -huh, still yeah, walk yeah, you home. Yeah, no, no, I get it, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He's just wait. like, what the fuck? Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never gonna happen? Mm. The conversation Smooth. trails off. It's kind of a weird thing to Sayori to care so much about. I don't want to. I want to respect her and keep her happy. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. What happened at that time? All righty. Oh fuck. Do you want to do the poem and then call it? Because I think we might be running up on the twenty minutes of the next episode. So. Dude, Pat, I don't fucking know. Some about I, yeah. I'm this scared. is scaring me a little bit. I think we're fucked. We're fucked. Yeah, I think so too. We're all already dead. Yeah. Let's do uh All right. Clouds. Swimsuit. 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 All right. I'm oh, going to go with twirl suits. I'm going to go with vivacious. You, no, you, kiss, you, kiss, you kiss. Got to be quicker on the draw, my man. Uh, I'm going to go with aura. I'm going to go with Whistle? I'm gonna go with uh oh my God. infinite. I wanted to go with infinite and starscape. Uh passion. 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 I'm gonna go with uh socks. I'm gonna go with <sighs> Papa, who, let's see who's got a dad complex. Uh, well, yeah, here, here, here it is. It would be her. I'm gonna go with uh, forgive. Uh, anger. Um, what the fuck? She liked anger. Go That's weird. with. Uh, I'm gonna go with color. I'm gonna go with spinning. 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 Okay. Uh, unrestrained. I just want to go for electricity you every single time. Uh, sure. I'm going to go with infallible. I'm 
gonna go not secretive this time okay. not secretive I'm gonna go with essence they were all fucking gonna go with they were all uh, Yuri words happiness I've gotta go with blanket I'm gonna go with misery Jesus whoa she liked Misery? Oh my god, that's the worst Stephen yep. King novel. 